the power. This back. So anyway, back to today's video. Speaking of this new show that we're doing, we're gonna need a little bit of intro music for it and some background music. So today's video is to get us going with some of that. So stay tuned and come along with me for the ride. In those drums, I need something more natural sounding than that. That's not gonna give it to me. Mm hmm. Maybe.
let's pause for a second. Time for the teaching moment. So I want to get more of a swing effect on this. That's part of the reason that's kind of I'm not happy with it. Uh, LMMS doesn't give you an actual button that lets you control groove or swing. But for those of us, for those of us that know music, we know swing is basically you're putting a beat in between the beat. A little secret to swinging is triplets. So just take the eighth notes and turn them into a triplets. You turn them into a two eighth note triplets tied together, followed by another eighth note triplet. So it's like, and that gives you a little bit of a swing. So I'm gonna, so pay attention how I do this, so you'll see how to get a little bit of swing. So you got your third of a beat, sixth of a beat, twelfth of a beat. That's what I want. Problem is, since I didn't record it this way. It always moves it since I didn't record it in triplets and I recorded it in a duple meter. When you try to slide it after changing the meter, it slides it relative to where it already was. So you just have to keep that in mind and delete it first and then just draw the note back in. That's all I'm going to do on this one. So that's the end of this cook up here. So uh, other than that, that's all I got to say. Until next time. Okay, I love you. Bye. -bye.